Hello and welcome back to the channel. A few days ago, I learned that a teacher is putting disabled students in the trash can. I repeat, in the trash can. And not just one, but multiples of them. I actually filmed a reaction to this a few days ago, but had to refilm it because of equipment issues. If you follow me on Twitter, you already know about it. But the good news is, is that there are updated articles, or at least articles that have popped up 20 minutes ago, three days later. So maybe there's m more updated news as to what's going on. If you want to see more reactionary type of videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos and if you want to help out the channel and get exclusive content with videos just like these but more feel free to pledge on patreon because that is always very helpful to the channel all right so i got this article teacher accused of putting disabled student in trash and this was updated four minutes ago so let's see what we got that's new since my first attempt at filming statesville north carolina and north carolina teacher is accused of putting disabled student in a trash can oh yeah did i forget to mention that this is local <laughs> news outlets report 51 year old robin johnson was arrested thursday on charges of miss medina assault on a disabled person which i found out that the child is autistic. Iredell County deputies say a therapist reported the allegations after speaking with the children who accused Johnson of putting them in trash or recycling bins during the past two school years. She's been doing this and getting away with it for two years. Wow. A sheriff's office, a sheriff's, a sheriff's office statement. I have my own deaf problems, my own disabled problems where I apparently cannot say sheriff's office statement. A sheriff's office statement says the evidence indicates that Johnson put a disabled Cloverleaf elementary student in a trash can at least twice. The Iredell Stagesville School District says Johnson is suspended with pay pending an internal investigation. Reports say Johnson has worked for the district since 2008 in various roles at NB Mills Elementary, East Elementary, Presley School, and Cloverleaf Elementary. She may appear in court November 4th. Okay, they took that article straight from WSOC TV, I'm pretty sure, because I'm pretty sure I read that exact article when I tried to film this on Friday. I wanted to find another article with more information, and here's a lo more local one from the Triad area. A teacher has been suspended with pay. We paid you to apparently put disabled kids in trash cans, and we're going to continue to pay you, even though you you're abusing kids and stuff. Okay. A teacher has been suspended with pay following accusations that she put a disabled student in a trash can. Johnson is charged with two counts of Miss Medina assault on a handicapped person. Therapists say multiple children told a therapist that Johnson picked them up and put them in a trash can or a recycling bin during the 2017, 2018, and 2018, 2019 school years. Evidence gathered indicates on at least two occasions Johnson placed a handicapped student into a trash can. District said Johnson was suspended with pay pending an investigation after they were made aware of the two charges by the Iredell County Sheriff's Office. After Johnson's arrest, she was given a $20,000 bond. She's due in court on November 4th. No further details about about the investigation have been made public. Another parent who asked to remain anonymous said he had heard about the troubling allegations at work on Friday. I hope it's not true, but if it is, I hope they get what they deserve. Yes, please. So I take this a little personally, or a lot personally, because I relate to this for two reasons. One, I am also disabled. Two, I grew up with child abuse. So th this hits me in the feels a little bit. And I don't understand, I don't understand parents who have kids and end up abusive. And I don't understand teachers who get into this field and be abusive. Also the fact that you're putting disabled kids and the most recent student is autistic, the fact that you're putting these kids in the trash can is just really bad obviously. It's already bad if you were to put non-disabled kids in the trash can. For me, my disabilities are different because I am deaf. I have chronic pain and fatigue. So if I were to be thrown into a trash can, I probably wouldn't have any other issue or reaction other than really being upset. And well, because of a abusive childhood, that might trigger some PTSD. But to put, uh, and okay, I don't know a whole lot about autism, but I imagine if you you were to put an autistic kid in a trash can and there's something about like over 
stimulation and sensory overloads and just things like that touching autistic kids i have a friend who is autistic who does not like people touching them without like at least notifying them beforehand if you were to touch them without even if you were just to come up to them by surprise or just like walk past them they freak out so i can't imagine what the, these children are going through these disabled autistic children i can't imagine what they're going through and for what reason there there is no good excuse for this no good reason but i am just so curious as to how johnson thought it was going to be a good idea to put the kids in the trash what did they do that made you want to put them in a the trash and what sort of resolution is that the word i'm looking for what kind of ending did you want to come out of this type of thing, putting them in the trash? Like, did you think that people would be happy about that? And how did you get away with it for so long? I understand that kids get very scared about reporting this type of thing and the blame is not on them at all. Absolutely not. But I'm just, but then again, abusers are good at what they do they're good at hiding things and hiding behind a wall and having this mask on and getting their timings right like oh no i'm gonna wait until so and so leaves and i'm gonna keep track of whoever's around and then these kids are already vulnerable so let's just yeah so we're just have to see what happens at the end of the investigation what happens at trial please get fired and get some punishment anyway that's all i know and all i had to say about that if you would enjoy more of these finding articles about you know certain things like disability abuse things like that want me to react to them let me know i think it's something a little bit new on the channel that i would like to do inspired by ready to glare because i love her commentary on these wacky ass things that happen you know if you would like to help translate this video i will have a translation link down below in the description box thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch this video and i will see you later bye